Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a new goodie that I'm revealing here on this channel. This is from the floral collection that was just released from the Coach Boutique. And I just came back from my local Coach store, so I'm so excited to share this with you guys. As you can see, it is not exactly a bag, it's more of an SLG and the sales associate was kind enough to wrap it up in the coach tissue paper. Let's go ahead and open her up and see what it is. I'm pretty sure you might be able to tell already what it is, but let's get into it. And the bag that I picked up, or SLG, is the coach kit messenger and of course it's in the new floral print from the coach retail look how beautiful this print is i know for the last two years it seems like whenever coach releases a new floral print collection i always must get something from the collection so this is what i decided to pick up and as you can see, the flowers on here are embossed on the bag. It is gorgeous. And let's just give her a quick little spin. Look how pretty she is. There's the coach hang tag here. So pretty. And then it just has the C here in the front really nice and discreet. I think it kind of blends in with the flowers. It's so pretty and I'm so happy to have her in my collection. Alrighty, so I'm sure as you can tell, this little kit messenger crossbody, it's not too many bells and whistles to this bag. As you can see here on the front, you just have this front slip pocket here, which is perfect for your phone. It is a zip top closure here. The zipper is nice and smooth. And then inside, when you open her up, you just have that little uh, interior there. It does kind of have like this burgundy fabric lining. There is a slip pocket here, as you can see. And then this bag does come with a thin, removable, and adjustable crossbody strap. And then here is the information on the tag here for anyone who's looking to possibly purchase this bag. It does retail for $195 US dollars. Okay, now that we've had a moment to admire the beautiful floral print on the Kit Messenger bag, I thought that for this video, it would be helpful to kind of compare this bag up against some other uh, popular coach bags in my collection that are pretty slim in my opinion so i just have some kind of laid out next to me the first one being this one which is the coach slim turn lock crossbody and this is in the signature canvas and rust and i would consider this to be a pretty slim bag as the name says but if i just lay it up against this bag you can see that the kit messenger is a little bit taller than the slim turn lock crossbody bag and i hope that you guys can see that but of course the slim turn lock crossbody is much more wider in the base in comparison to the kit messenger bag so there's that one I also have this coach bag, which is the Chase 19 crossbody. I don't think that this bag is available anymore at any department stores. It certainly isn't available at coach anymore in the coach store, but I still think it's a good size reference um, in comparison to the kit messenger bag. So here it is again, this is the Chase 19, which is already a pretty slim bag and pretty tiny. So that's how that looks. Of course, as you can see on camera, the Kit Messenger is taller in height in comparison to the Chase 19 bag. And if you look at the base of the bag too, the Kit Messenger is significantly more slimmer than the Chase 19. 
And then one last bag in my coach collection that I would consider to be pretty slim is the Wynn crossbody in the color chalk here. Of course, this bag is gonna be significantly taller in comparison to the Wynn crossbody. But then if you look at the base of the bag, you know, still pretty narrow. They look like they're pretty similar though here. And again, I'm not gonna take out my measuring tape or anything. I'm just kind of showing you guys the bags and we're just doing an eye comparison of how they look up against each other. Alrighty, one of the concerns that I had about the kit messenger was how much I would be able to fit inside of this bag because as you can see, it's pretty slim. So let's go ahead and see what can fit inside of this bag. Of course, I mentioned earlier that this uh, messenger crossbody does have this slip pocket here in the front. I have an iPhone 13 phone case. That fits perfectly inside of that slip pocket there. And as a matter of fact, because the bag is tall, I have a lot more room to spare. I know you guys probably won't be able to see that on camera, but if I turn the phone sideways, I have a lot more room to put something else on top. Or you can kind of set the phone like this and then as you can see, you can kind of see it peeking out if I set it up vertically like so. Okay. And then inside of the bag, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out. Again, very slim inside. Let's see what we can fit in here. So I have my Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet in case you wanna use a compact size wallet. I'm gonna squeeze that in there I have my mini pochette from Louis Vuitton as well just have a few knickknacks in there so you can see if I turn it sideways like so that could fit in there and then so far this is how it, it's looking from the side And then I have my key pouch in monogram from Louis Vuitton as well. I'm just gonna kind of stick that on top here. Oops. And that's how that looks in there. And then I might be able to fit maybe, let's see if my Chanel compact mirror can maybe fit in that slip pocket here. It does, it's getting a little tight though. And then let's see if a pack of tissue can fit on top. I'm just gonna pop that in on top. As you can see, that's how that's looking. Let's try to zip her up. But this is pretty much all of the essentials I would need. And that's how she's looking. She's kind of bulging just a little bit, but she's still quite slim in profile, I think and I have all of my essentials in here, all right? And then now, let's say for instance, you don't want to carry, I'm just gonna take everything back out. But let's just say for instance, you don't want to carry a compact size wallet, you would rather go with a card holder instead. I have this card holder from Coach, it's just my slim, black slim card holder that can go in here just like that and again we're not going to use a compact size wallet then we're going to take the mini pochette again and just place her on the side and that's how that's looking key pouch now because i use that card holder instead of this compact size wallet i think i have a bit more room to spare Again, my Chanel compact mirror, I'm just gonna put it here in that slip pocket and then just my Kleenex tissue. And then this time I may be able, I may be able to fit in maybe my hand sanitizer this time. So here's my up and up hand sanitizer. I'm just gonna put it in that same um, slip pocket next to the Chanel compact mirror and then now I'm gonna close her back up. Of course, I still have my phone here I never took her out and that's how she's looking Kind of bulges out a little bit with that hand sanitizer 
you guys can't tell I'm not sure if you can see that so if I take that out Okay, now that bulge is gone completely in the back. All right. So yes, that is everything that can fit inside of this Kit Messenger crossbody. I think she's such a cute little bag. And just as a side note, I asked the sales associate too, um, just out of curiosity, if this style of crossbody bag comes with the Coach Dust Bag. And she said no because Coach considers this more of an SLG instead of like an actual full-sized bag. But yes, as you can see here, she can fit your essentials. You know, you can't fit everything in the kitchen sink in here because of the slim design, but she fits all of the things you might need if you're doing some quick errands or if you're just out for the day and maybe don't need to carry much. Super cute. Alrighty guys, so before I sign off of this video, I did want to share some fun ways that this Kit Messenger crossbody can be worn. Of course, you can wear it with this thin, uh, removable and adjustable strap that this bag comes with. You can also wear the bag on its own as a clutch. I think that would be quite chic looking in my opinion. And again, I'll be able to put, I'll be sure to put the mod shot pictures on the screen of how this looks up against my petite frame. Uh, another way that I thought that this bag could be worn is with uh, some chain straps that I have from Coach already from some other bags. So here is my a brass chain strap from my Cassie 19. I think that would look pretty nice on here. So there she is like that. You can kind of drape her on the front, I think, and still kind of wear it as a clutch. I think that would be Again, quite nice looking, very chic in my opinion, with the chunky chain. And then of course, I have another brass chain, which came off of the half flap card case. So here she is, much thinner in comparison to the Cassie 19 chain. And what I like about this is you can wear it just like this with the chain nice and long on this bag. I think that would be great for the tall ladies out there, but of course I'm four feet 11 inches tall. I can't wear the chain this long because it's gonna look ridiculous on me. So in this case, I thought it would be nice if I just doubled this thin chain up against this Kit Messenger crossbody. And that's how that looks. And then of course you can drape it on the front like this, which I think looks really nice and elegant too. So yes, as you can see, this bag can definitely be dressed up and played around with with the different uh, chain options here. This bag is gonna be a lot of fun to use and anyone who's been following my channel for a while, you guys know that I love a good black handbag. I think I have too many in my handbag collection, but this one doesn't count because it has this pretty floral print. So I'm not gonna count this one because I really wasn't supposed to be buying any more black handbags at all this year. So this one's okay because it doesn't count. Before I forget, I do need to shout out two other content creators here on YouTube. The first lovely lady is Anjali and the second lovely lady is Vivine Carlene. I will be sure to link their channels down in my description box below. But yes, those two lovely ladies shared another floral print that you can get at the Dollar Tree and I was able to find that print at my local Dollar Tree. I had to go do some searching because at the first one I went to, I didn't find it. So I had to go to another one, but I did find one and here it is. It is this beautiful scarf. And I believe the brand is called Juncture, but look how similar. I just have it tied around this medium canvas bag from Bloomingdale's, but look how similar this floral print from the Dollar Tree is to the coach floral print from the coach retail store it's so cute right 
It's like a perfect match. It is beautiful. So shout out to those two ladies for sharing. Sharing is caring. And now I'm telling my followers, guys, go to your local Dollar Tree and see if you can locate this scarf. It is beautiful and it definitely says spring and summer. It's pretty, it's lovely. You can tie it around a hat, you can tie it around your bags. It's gorgeous. So again, shout out to those two ladies for sharing. Sharing is caring. And that is the end of this video, you guys. I hope that this video is helpful. Anyone who's interested in the Coach Retail floral print that just came out. Um, and in particular, if you're interested in the Kit Messenger crossbody, I hope that this video was helpful in helping you decide if this is gonna be a good bag for you. Um, I was also tempted by the Cassie 19 in the floral print. As you guys know, I already have two Cassie 19s in my handbag collection, so the more I thought about it, I was like, I really don't want to add a trifecta. I really don't want to have a trifecta of Cassie 19s in my handbag collection from Coach. However, I do not own the Kit Messenger crossbody, and I think that this is such a beautiful and versatile bag, and I hope that my video was helpful to anyone out there watching. If it was, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.